Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Osayome Sali, and tonight I will be introducing our Ways exclusive, a special edition of our flagship um, program. On this exclusive, I will be having a one-hour in-depth conversation with thought leaders across the globe. But before I dive in, in conjunction with EIE, that's Enough is Enough Nigeria, let's quickly focus on holding the executives accountable. Um, so in case you did not know, we always educate us every Monday to talk about issues around governance, you know, and how the citizens, Office of the Citizens, can play a role in that. So in partnership with EIE, we want to look at um, the background. As of course, you already know there are three tiers of government, federal, state, and local government. Secondly, the citizens, right, are the ones in charge of electing the government. You know, heads of each tier are elected by the citizens. The federal government, that is the president, vice president, ministers representing each state, special assistants, ministers, departments and agencies, that's the MDAs, head, the, um, the president's heads and the federal executive council, all that um, make up the federal government. While the state government is made up by state governors, the heads, the state executive council, the governor is supported by the deputy governor, commissioners, and special assistants. In case you did not know, members of the local government, we have about 70, 768 local government areas and six area council headed by chairmen. Caretakers, committees are illegal, and councillors represent each ward. What an interesting finding. Now, so how do we hold the executive accountable? Vote officials who align with your values. That's what they say. And how to hold the accountable also is petitions, your officials on spe specific issues that concern you. You can actually petition some of your officials. They can also participate in community um, gatherings and peaceful protests to address issues that affect you. And finally, report cases of misconduct corruption or abuse of power to appropriate oversight bodies such as Economic and Financial um, Crimes Commission and support and amplify the work of civil society organizations like what we're doing at in, um, in partnership with Enough is Enough. So in case you want to know more about all of this, remember to chat the Office of the Citizens, the chat box. Just say hello to 0170063816381. That's the chat box. All right, so tonight, Ola Kulinshoria is with me in studio for this exclusive to discuss the Nigerian promise, what the hope for this alien nation is. But first, let's take a break. Um, when we come back from that break, I'll go right into the conversation. Stay with us.